One of the most popular outputs from the balance program is the Yamazumi chart. You click on the summary and you just click on the Yamazumi chart. It's extremely fast, uh, about 10 times faster than the previous versions of Timer Pro. And what you've got here is basically the information dumped into Excel in proportion to the uh, data on your original balance chart here. And uh, this is actually the Toyota specification you're looking at here uh, when you're looking at this right here. And we've also linked in the videos if you've got videos enabled here. So you can just uh, double click um, and it will play it right back here. Again, the uh, the viewer is a lot uh, is integrated now, and uh, you can give this to anyone who's got Excel. They will be able to play back the data uh, from these Yamazumi charts. Now, the scale of the Yamazumi chart, the most common one is one row represents one unit of time, be it a second or a minute, and uh, really an hour, of course, but a second or a minute. If you want to change the scale, though, uh, remember there's an option over here that you can let you do that. You come in here, you go to your options. And then in here we have your um, settings, right? And here's a number of rows per time unit in Yamazumi. So you want to make, let's say, five rows for every second. You can do change it right here. Close this, populate the Yamazumi again, and this time there'll be five different rows for each of them, each second here. You can see here if you look closely at it. I'll shrink it down a wee bit. Let's let's zoom in a little bit first of all. So let's go to 75%. And you can see here, if I make these a little wider, there you go. You see 68, 68.2, 68.4, and so forth. And this helps when you get very uh, fine uh, measurements and you want to see the uh, correct proportions here. So if I go down to 25%, you'll see what it looks like here if I scroll down here. All right. So that's just how you can change the setting here. But the default that uh, we see most clients using is going to be over here in the settings. Usually leave it as one, which is as it's delivered right here to generate your Yamazumi charts. Just uh, one other note on the Yamazumi. If you click this Yamazumi option, of course, you're going to get the Yamazumi for uh, all of the pro uh, steps in the process here. You have one other option in the Yamazumi area. If you come down to a particular uh, task, hit the right button, and then send to Yamazumi from here, it will put it out to Excel again but it'll only be the one task that you've, you've selected there, it'll be out there. And that's useful if you have a, a very large process and you just want to update one of the stacks in the Yamazumi chart here.